Welcome to Kelly's College Vlog Week 2. So today, I was sitting in the lecture theatre wearing this pink top and this girl next to me looked at it and says to me, Are you effeminate? And I said, Well, no, not really. And she said, Why not? And I said, Well, I don't really know. And she said, But do you believe in equality of opportunity? And I said, Well, it depends what you mean. And she said, do you want to be able to do the same things as men? And I said, no. And she said, why not? And I said, A, I don't want to put the bins out. B, beer tastes disgusting. And C, I don't want to wee standing up, thank you very much. I had to whisper then because the lecturer was looking at us. She said, that's not what effeminate means. And I was like, well, actually, I don't think anyone likes putting the bins out. So she didn't have anything to say after that. Anyway, we still haven't done anything to do with hair removal. Can you believe it? They just keep giving us loads of random information and stories and that. Oh, so there's this woman, right, called Emily Pancake. And she got accidentally killed when she got squished flat by a horse. And that's how she got her name. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So actually, I don't mind the stories they're giving us too much because they sound quite nice. We're going to be doing this one called the female unicorn, which is brilliant because normally I'd have thought a unicorn was always a boy, you know, because he's got a horn like a bull and that. But this woman, Geranium, Geranium Gear, she says, no, this book's about a female unicorn. I mean, I suppose I have always really liked fairy tales, so maybe deep down I am effeminate. That's a bit worrying, isn't it? Oh well, I suppose I was always going to change being at college and maybe being educated means you automatically become effeminate. It's a lot to think about though, isn't it? Emily Pancake. <laughs> That's made me feel quite hungry, actually. Mum? Mum? You make me bacon sandwich? I'm oh, sorry. Turn this off.